Hey everybody, it is Creation Robinson and I'm the owner of Big Head Fitness LLC. We are the Big Head Fitness Studio. Today guys, it's all about using some power of weight work and using your body as your tool. This is more based on strength training. So what I'd like you to grab is anything you might have hanging around the house on the same guidelines. I've got a gallon jug, which is a little over eight pounds. I have my eight pound weight. I'll be using all of my tools so you know that you can use them with no issues. I have some play balls. I have a soccer ball and a regular play ball. Most balls will work, guys. So if you have any of those play balls hanging around the house, even a basketball or maybe a volleyball, they all work. If you don't have any equipment, it's okay. You can rock out with everything we do in this workout, just using your body and your power of your body's body weight. Behind me, we have instructor music rocking in the background. I don't want the rights to these songs or the mix involved, so just enjoy. Make sure you've been cleared by your physician or doctor for starting this program or any other program, and make sure you hydrate when needed. You can just click me on and click me back off if you need to start and stop for any reason. Life is hectic, we got it, I know. Sometimes you got things going on, just stop me, come back. Resume when you need to. All right, guys, here we go, march it out. Take it right. Now, anytime you need to modify while we're doing anything that we do in this workout, please do so. If it's something that you want to add a little extra to, feel free. So you can put a little bit of extra weight into the mids. Maybe you want to take some of our cardio-based moves and plyometrics them, which means take them up a little higher. It is up to you. It is your workout. So let's get going. Here we go. Knee lifts. Knees up right. Lift. Power to the chest. If it's too much with the arms, just use that center, right? It's as easy as that. Give me four more. Three, four, three. Here we go. Hamstring curls, right. Left. Take it to the booty. Four more. Three, four, three. We're going to go with the center squat. Sit back through the hip and the heel. Drive back and up. Squeezing the glutes at the top. Soften in the knee. Drive back and lift. Go. Give me four more. We have four. Three. Two more. Last one. Knee lift and pull. Knees up. Power right in. Right. Left and again. You can add those arms or keep the arms low. Just powering with those knees. We have four. Three. Hamstring curl. Right. Left. Take it into a movie. Ho, ho. Four. Three. Squat center. Right to the hip and heel. Sit back. Now as we're coming up, we want to squeeze the glutes, but keep the knees soft. So that means we're not locking out the knee, we're straightening them. Four, three, two more, one more. Knee lift and pull, last set, pull, direct, lift, all the way to the chest. We have four, three, hamstring curl, curl to the booty. You give me four more. We have four, three, squat center. Sit back to the hip and heel. Drive down, bring it up. And again, you want to drive down through the heels and the booty. Not the knees, not the toes. We don't want stress on that front. Four, three, two more. One more. Bring it up. You got it. We're going to step nice and wide. Toes face front. Drive to the right hip. Body weight through that hip and heel. Again, chest lifted. So we're getting that nice power into that movement. Stretching through the other. Now I'm going to make it a little more difficult. Keep it here, we're going to pulse back. Push it back through that hip and heel. So I'm not on my knee, I'm not on my toe. Bowing through that center. Yes, one more. We have four, three, two, hold it. Get a nice stretch. Switch. Power it over and again. We're driving through the hip and the heel, not the knee, not the toe. So the knee should not be over that toe. Chest lifted, pulse down and over. Push back, push back. Oh, give me four more. We have four. Three, two, hold it. Nice stretch. Bring it center, you got it. Turn your toes out for me. Take a center. Please squat. Now they're not very big, they're not very deep. It's more about contracting, controlling through that core, through the side of leaks, through the glutes, and through that center. We are not locking the knee. We get to the top. You want to keep them nice and soft. Your power is here. Give me four more. Four, three, two more, two. Take down, little pulses. It's about an inch up and down. 
tiny little press. I'm going to stay tight. As you see, my chest is lifted. I'm not here. I'm here. Four, three, two, down up singles. Say, oh my goodness, this is too early for all of this. I know. It's good though. Four more. It's like eating your broccoli. It's good for you. Give me two more. Go. Take two. Woo. Take it down. Pulse it. Little pulse. Drive in center. Chest up. Loose under. Pull it. Four more. Four. Three. Two. Hold. Can we pulse one more time? Oh my gosh, you're killing me. I know. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Four. Three. Two. Bring it up. Shake it out. Good job, guys. All right. Whatever you're working with, player's choice. I'm going to start with my gallon jug. You can work with whatever it is that you're comfortable with. You've got your little weight, use it. We're going to go center, be shoulder width apart. You're just going to give me a hammer curl with that right side. Throw it up and in. Then we're going to go all the way to the shoulder and thigh. Shoulder, thigh. Again, soften to the knee. Glute tight, core engaged. Four, three. And we want to watch that we're not swinging our power weight. Curl it up and over the head. So you're going to curl, press, tap, release. And again, good control. You're swinging and rocking and pumping, so I don't see any of this. That's not the right way to lift a weight. Control is your friend. Control also means you've got more muscle power working, less injury factor, and it works better for that power of muscle contraction. One more. Four and press. Tuck it in, release. Three and press. Tuck it in, release. Two more, two more, two more. Curl, push, tuck. Release one more. Curl, press. We're getting center for me. I want you to put your weight or your jug or even your water bottle in that center. Hold in center. Take this straight lateral. So you're going to go shoulder, center. Shoulder, hips. Now again, I'm not swinging, I'm not rocking, I'm not pumping. You want to watch that you don't do any of that motion. You want to keep good control for your power. Four, three, two more, two more. One more. Bring it in, take it straight down. Ankles, hips. Now as I drive down, my back is straight. I'm driving through the hip and the heel, powering back and down. Four, three, two. Bring it all the way up, you got it. Put it in your left hand. Take that side, and we're curls. Shoulder and center. Shoulder, side. And again, no rocking, no swinging. Good control, yes? Curl, release. One more for me. Four, three, two. Curl it up and over the head. Curl and press. And release. Curl extend. Glutes stay tight, soften. Power that core and release. Curl extend. You got it. One more. Come on, pull. Four, breathe. Tuck it in and down. Make sure you're not holding your breath. Go control, power and release. Curl extend, tuck, you go one more, one more. Curl and press, you got it. Bring it into center, put it in between both those hands. Weight in that center, straight out and in. And again, you wanna go straight to the shoulder, weight to the side. So we're not rocking and rolling, we're not swinging and pumping, we're not powering and rocking. It's a lift. Four, control is your friend. Two more. One more, are we ready? Take it straight down to your ankles. Keeping your back straight, abs strong, driving through the center, hinging at the hips, straight down and up. So as we're doing this, if you look like this, you want to straighten your back. Squeeze your back muscles, stick your booty up, stick your chest out. Four, three, two more. One more, one more. Bring it up, drop that weight that you're working with, whatever it is. March it up, take it right. All right, guys, a little bit of cardio. We have four, three, then we're gonna lunge side to side. It's just half the right side, left side, yes? All right, now, you can add anything you'd like to this. You keep it low, keep it low. This right here is fine. You wanna add a little pump, power it up. If you wanna add more, keep that knee moving. Ha, ha. One more, four, three, two, bring it center, squat up. Now, you can stay with your basic squat. This is awesome right here. Or jump and up. Squat, jump. Take it in, jump it up. Squat. Now as you do this, you want to keep the knees slightly bent. 
Pass right, so the hip and heel. We have four, three, ha, two. Here we go. Turn set, lunges right. Set. So we've got three sets. We're down one. Yes. Come on, come on. Four, three, squat center. And again, this one's fine. You can stay right here. You can even add a heel raise if you like. Or give it a hop. Squat hop. And if you're doing this hop, make sure you keep the knee slightly bent. That means don't straighten out the knee. Four, three, two more. Woo, one more. Lunge side to side. Right, you got one more side, come on. You got this. Three, four, three. Squat center. Sit, lift, or hop it up. Sit, lift, or hop it up. One more. Four, three. Two more, two more. Ooh, one more. March it out. Shake it out. All right, you should be up a little bit now. You should feel that little bit of high heat going on. All right, whatever you're working with, I'm going for my ball. So grab or with that. I'm gonna start with my play ball. I'm gonna put it between my feet. Feet are shoulder width apart. Again, just enough squeeze on them to engage your center. Lift and lower. It's a calf raise. Now as I'm doing these, I'm keeping my knees slightly bent. My glutes are tight. My core is engaged, yes? Four, from side, lifting the lower. So we're powering through here. Powering through the leg line. Keeping the knees soft. Powering through that calf raise. Four, three, two more. One more. Bring it center. Drive through that hip and heel. Oh my God, squats again, no. Arms extend, palms face the floor. Elbow next to the ear. Now pulse your arms up. Eight, seven, eight. Oh my gosh. Yes, I know. Take it to center. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Four, three. You ready? Pulse the arms again. If this gets to be too much, guys, come up a little. Yes. We have four, three, two, hold. One more set. Pulse up. Keep your arms straight. Elbows next to those ears for me, please. Power through your back and shoulder. Four, three, two. Bring it up. Pack brace. Who's tight? Oh my gosh, we have to do that again. Yeah, we do, guys. One more. Four, three, two more. We're gonna change the arms a little. Come down, hold. Drive the hip and heel. Arms go out to your side. Shoulder in your back pocket. Full step eight. Yes, I know. It feels like you're flying, right? But do you feel the contractions? You should. Nice tight arm, power to that center shoulder, hold the pulses, and you will feel it in your back, guys. So if you're feeling it in your back and you're like, oh my gosh, it is working those small muscles, pulse that arm up. These are the muscles that deteriorate as we get older. One more. And they are twice as important as doing a hundred crunch. Hold. Bring it up. Yes. Lift on the toes. Soften in the knees. Lift lower. As we get older, we slump. Even males do. And it's very important to train your back twice as hard as you train your front or that power just the front of the core. We have four. All of our muscles are connected in our body, guys. And they all work together, whether you think so or not. You cannot spot train anything. You can work in that area. Drive down, sit back that hip. Arms go to the back this time. Power pulse straight up. So my elbows are right next to my sides. My back is strong. I'm not arched and I'm not rolled. Look forward, four, three, two, hold. Body waves through that hip and that heel. Pulse it again, eight, seven, six. So a lot of the myths you hear, guys, they're not professionals. They're telling you something to hold that they may have heard. Pulse it again. Science tells us differently. So guys, don't believe everything you hear or see. Four, three, two, hold, bring it in. Take that ball out, slide to the side. March it out, guys. Woo, four more. We have four, three, two. Now listen, we're gonna do straight kick, straight kick, right? Left, now I'm just hinging at the hip. You go as low as you like, or as high as you like. It's more about a straight push. Pound to center, four more. Four, three, two, hold center. Step back with your right foot. Feet shoulder width apart for me. Drive straight down and up. Take it straight down with that lunge. Yes, we're doing a straight lunge. You want to make sure you're driving through the center of the body. 
Now through the front knees. We're now pulling forward. You're going straight down to that center. Down and up one more. Where's my power body weight? My front heels, my hips, straight down to the back side and the knee. Give me two more. One more. Take it down, pulses. Woo, eight. Seven, chest up, back strong. One more, come on, you got this, four, I know. Bring it up, shake it out. Yes? Here we go, kick center. Right, left, shake it out. One more. Four, three. Step back with your left foot. Drive back, be shoulders apart, come down center. Straight down, up and again. Driving to the center, chest lifted, half strong. Straight down, straight up. So we're not pushing forward. We're not rolling down. We're going straight down that body. Breathing as you go. Woo, one more. Take it down, power pulse. Ha, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Bring it up. Bring that center, march it out, take it right. All right, second one, and listen. We're gonna go side to side, hop right, hop left. Now, how high? Up to you. You wanna keep it low? Give it a step touch. It is again up to you on how much you wanna add or subtract. Ho, ho, march it out. Four, three, ready? Kick it to the center. Right, left, straight power leg. Four, three, two, take it right back. Oh my gosh, again. Yep, hip center, take it straight down. Round your zone up. Drive into the front front. Drive into the center. Chest lifted, we draw them strong. Four, three, two more. One more, please. Take down power pulses. Ha, eight, seven, come on, breathe, breathe, you got this. Ha, four, three, two, bring it up. Switch, kick in the center. Right, left, straight leg power. Four, three, step back that left. Hip center, drive down and up. And again, straight down to the center. Power down, pull it up. Straight down, pull it up. Shoulder and hip are one good line. So quickly, look over your shoulder. Is it around your hip? Check me. Power that heel. Take it down, pulses. Eight, seven. All these tiny little things are so important on how effective those moves are. Bring it up, march down. Stay right. Sit, touch your hop. Right, left. Again, how big? Up to you. Woo! March out. Stay right. You got it. One more set. Kick some. Right, left. Straight leg kick. Four, three. Step back to the right foot. Drive center, chest up. Straight down, lift. Comes down, up. And again, look at that shift. Shoulder, hip. Good line. Two. Take down, power pulses. Eight, seven, six, five. We got four, three. Bring it up, kick center. Right, left. Woo, four more. Four, three. Step back with your left foot. Drive that center straight down. Lunge down and up. Pass that center. Straight down, straight lift. Straight down again. Body weight through the heel, through the center. Four. Three, two more, two more. Oh, last one. Take it down, power pulse. Come on. Rock it all the way through. Don't give up on me. Four, three, two. Bring it up, march it out. Shake it out, say, wow. Step, touch, hop. Fire in those legs, huh? Come on, come on. Four, three, march it out. Shake it out. You. We're going for our weights, whatever you're working with. I'm going to go with the dumbbell this time. And again, it's going to go on the side. I'm just going to face the back of the room. We're going to drive straight back. You know, as I'm pushing back through my shoulder, it doesn't rise, it doesn't roll, and it doesn't come forward. Squeeze your back, chest is it. Move tight, pull the abdominals in strong. One more. Four, hold. Now quickly, where is that landing when you come in? Hold the pulse back. It should be right to the hip when you drive back. Your wrist should be straight. Chop your roll. Lift your lower singles. Squeeze. Stop the hip. So I don't want this. We don't want swing and momentum. That can actually put injury to your shoulder. Again, control when you have weight. Four. Those control moves 
means good effective work. Take it back, pulses, eight, seven, shoulder stays relaxed, Part to the back side, four, three, two, hold, take center, drive straight down, high rope with that elbow, chest lifted out strong, so we're halfway over, we're not way up here unless you feel like you need to be, we're halfway, head stays above the heart, lifting and lowering, four, three, two more, two, Take it to the top, pulses for me. Take it eight, seven, I don't know about you guys, but I'm sweating, it's dripping. Lift and lower, same, let's lift, lower. Hard up, keeping that elbow wide for me guys, don't let it roll back, take it straight out, it's straight out, that elbow. <laughs> Breathe it, exhale, inhale. Take it up, pulse it, pulse it, eight. Keep it high, keep it high. One more, come on, four, three. Two, bring it up, got it, switch sides. Take that left, power that center, straight back. And again, you wanna stop at your hip bone. So no swinging, no rocking, no pumping, no power in it, it's a press. Shoulder stays relaxed, power to the back. Four, glutes tight, driving back and in. Two, take it back to the pulses, pulses. Eight, keeping your wrist straight for me, don't let that wrist roll back. Four, three, Two, with the lower singles. Ah, press, hold, lift, hold. Squeeze in those glutes, pull me abdominals and strong as you're powering. Four, three, two more, two more. Woo, one more. Take it up, power pulse back. Eight, we'll keep going on in the back of that arm and that back. We have four, three, two. Bring it in, drop it halfway down, guys. Here we go, high elbow row. Row it up, bring it in. We are halfway over. Pull the abdominals in strong, back is straight, part of the center. Four, three, two more. One more. Take it to the top, pulses, real squeeze, eight. It's about an inch up and down, guys. Pump, 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 four, two, one. Lift the lower singles, pat it, bring it down. Exhale, inhale, pull, and down. Lift, one more, four, three, two more, two more, two more. Woo, one more. Take to the top, pulse it up, pulse it up. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Bring it up, relax your weight. Good job, guys. Watch it out, take a ride. <laughs> All right, guys, give me four more. Four, all right, you listen. We're gonna go knee lifts, just like we do with that warm up. High knees, high power, that summer. We have four, three, lunge aside. Right, left. Give me one more. Any way you want, guys. You can have that pump. Yes, yes. March it out. Take four. Three. Now, listen. We're going to go right and left. You're going to step right. Step left. So, reversing those power lunges. Your chest stays up as you power back. Drive it straight down. Straight down. Breathe in. Be four. Three. You get two. You got squat right and left. Step aside. Right side. Bring it up. Left side. Bring it up. Now, of course, if you want to get fancy with it, you want to add the extra, you can power it over, hop and step. Power, hop and step. Ha. March out. Stay right. Yes, yes. Knee lift and pull. Stay right. Left. Woo. One more. Four. Three. Lunges to the side. Any way you want them. High or low. One more. Four. Three. Low lunges back right. Right, right. Right. Left. Again, driving to the center, chest lifted. Power center. Four, three, two more. Woo, last one. Squat to the sides. Step right. Step left and again. You can add that little hop in center. So squat and hop. Four, up to you. Two more. You. March it out. Stay right. We got one more side. Ready? Knee lift and pull. Stay right. Lift. High knee, high knee. Four more. Four. Three. Lunge to side. Right leg. Power it. Hup. Hup. Four more. Four. Three. Low lunges back. Reverse lunge right. Reverse lunge back. Chest up out strong. Feet shoulder with same part. One more. Three. Two more. Last one. Squat to the side. 
Squat side, bring it up. Squat side, bring it up. Sit and lift. Drive it over. One more. Four. <laughs> Three. Come on, two. March out. Stay right. All right, this is a great time to grab a drink. Take a quick break to wipe off some of the sweat. We're actually going down. So what I'd like you to do is grab your weight or your jug or whatever you're working with, put it in one end. The ball is actually gonna go on your side, whatever side you like. I'm gonna lay sideways so everybody can see me. So guys, up to you. I've got both of my balls here, just so you can see. And what we're gonna do guys, is lay down on the right side. So I'm gonna come down. Now, very important, I'm gonna move my little ball so everybody can see. I'm gonna take it center. Now as I'm up, my chest is lifted. My shoulder's nowhere near my neck, important. No, no. This right here is pushing a lot of stress on your neck, nerves in your neck. I'm gonna put a lot of stress on that shoulder too. So if your shoulder problems, this is a no-no. Lift it up, chest up, use your core muscles. Now the other thing guys, if you need to, you can always lay all the way down to do any of these moves using that power motion with the other arm. Okay, here we go. Setting it up. I'm gonna grab my ball. Where's my ball going? It's gonna go in between my calf muscle and my ankle bone. So I don't want it on my ankle bone. I want it right in that center. And I'm gonna take my heels out. This is really important. Why? Hips stay in a better alignment. The other thing is, I want you to look at that top toe. It should not be turning back. Hips should not be back here. Bring them in, yes? Here we go, power lifts up, down. Now if you don't have a ball and you're doing this without the ball, it is easy, guys. You literally just keep going right here. Yes? It's not hard to adapt. It's a matter of power. And again, if maybe you have the ball and you don't like the ball, do it just like this, one more. Just make sure that front toe is pointing to center and the top toe is pointing towards the other toe, yes? One more. Four, three, two more. Two, take it up, pulse it, can you do it? Eight, where's the shoulder? Is it lifted, is it dropped? Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Lift your lower singles. Say, oh my gosh, this is really hurting. I know, it's working. Say, oh, I didn't even know I had muscles in those areas. I know. One more. Well, these are tiny little important muscles. Give me two more. One more, one more for me. Take it to the top, pulse it up. Eight, and of course you can lay down if it's being comfortable, guys. One more. Three, four. Come on, you finish. Finish. Hold it. Release. Good job, y'all. You can walk your ball out. I'm just gonna bring it to the center. My top leg is gonna go behind. My bottom leg is gonna extend. Again, chest lifted, lift and lower. Inner thigh up. Old school inner thighs. They still work, guys. Good old leg lifts. Four more. Four. Three. Two. Take it up to the top, hold step. Eight. When you get that video, guys, you pretty much keep me like you would if you were in my live class. Lifting lower singles. Up and down. So all those little things that I do, I am not perfect and nobody is. So I don't wear makeup. I am just me on camera. We get two. Take it to the top. Pulses. Pulse up eight. So if you laugh at me, it's okay. I get it. One more. Four. Three. Two. Hold, hold, hold. Can we get one more set? Pulse up. Pulse up. Eight. Oh my gosh. What? Four. Three. Two. Bring it in. You got it. Soles together. Elbows are gonna go into the knees. Chest lifted for me, just press forward. Say, oh, that feels good, right? Nice deep inhales and exhales, guys. Get that good oxygen flow. Woo! Be alright. And right, ladies. All right, guys, we are switching sides. And again, you wanna grab your ball that you're working with. And just for video's sake, I'm gonna grab my other ball just so you can see that you can use either one. And I'm gonna put it right in the same area between my calf muscle and my ankle bone. Straighten it out, chest lifted for me, power in that center, toes facing center, power lifts up, comes up and down. Hip to hip, shoulder to shoulder. 
So if I went back, my hips are no longer in alignment, neither are my shoulders. Bring it forward, and you feel the difference as soon as you come forward on how much intensity that holds. And again, you don't want that shoulder and neck to kiss, so I don't want it here. Lift it up, use that core, breathe it. Say, woman, are you counting? I am, come on, two more. One more, one more, one more. Check it up, pulses, eight. Toes face in front, don't let it fall back. Breathe it at four, three, two, lift it lower. And again, guys, you can always take that ball out if needed. Lift it, lower. Four more, four more. Woo, baby. Two more. One more. Take it up to the top. Pull stop, pull stop. Eight. Come on, you can finish this. Don't give up. I know it's tough. Hold it. Release. Walk it in, guys. Top leg goes behind. Bottom leg out. Here we go. And then fly up and down. Lift. Lower. Comes up and down. Four more. Chest up, chest up. Four. Pull. Three. Two more. Two. Take it up to the top. Pulses, pulses. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Lift to lower singles. Lift, lower. Comes up and down. And again, watching that shoulder. If this would be too much, you can lay down on your backside. Four, three, two more. One more, one more. Take to the top. Pulses. Eight, little pump, little pump, little pump. Toes face front. Woo, four. Okay, you ready? Hold it, never hold. Pulse it again. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Ready? Hold. Release, relax, bring it center. Soles together, elbows into the knees, cross. My people in class joke with me whenever I'm doing any type of hold and then I say relax, they're like, yeah, it's not really relax. I just hold it for two seconds. <laughs> And release. All my torture has my heart in, I swear. I love everybody. It takes class with me. I torture them all the same with all the same love. All right, guys. I want you to flip it around. We're going to lay down on our backs. I'm going to grab whatever weight you're working with, guys. Grab it. Keep it to the end that you want to work with. So I'm just going to slide around. And I'm going to lay down. Excuse my mic. Here we go. So I'm going to grab whatever it is that you're working with. I'm going to start with my gallon jug, just for that sake of holding. Now I'm going to put my hand on either side of that hole. Legs are going to go up. Glutes are going to power down to the floor. Squeezing the abdominals, I'm going to lift to the ceiling and hold. Now little pulses, pulses to the toes. Little squeezes. Power it up for more. Four, three, two, hold it. Here's where it gets fun. Take your right leg down. We're going to go halfway. Back stay straight. Abs in. Pulse it up. Pulse it up. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Hold. Switch. Pulse it again. Now, if it gets to be too much, guys, you can drop your legs or maybe just use your arms instead of that weight. Hold it. Take both legs up together. 